Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and today I'm going to be playing some Dungeons of Dreadmoor. Uh, it was $4.99 on Steam. Uh, it's been in my catalog for a while, and I've quite enjoyed playing it. And uh, it's a roguelike, so it's easy to do a one-off episode, which is nice every time I feel like it, because I don't feel like playing the same thing very often. Um, so we're going to do smaller floors just so we can actually find some uh, stairways because it gets kind of crazy. Uh, There's so many skill trees that you can pick from uh, and they kind of define you as a character. So I really like to do uh, unarmed combat because it just makes things so much simpler uh, even though your damage is lowered. Mm. Let's do swords and we could do dual wielding. And we'll pick up maces just because uh, maybe we'll find something. Uh, Berserker Rage sounds good. Master of Arms. We got room for two more. Hmm. What if I picked up uh, something crazy? Blood Mage. And uh, I like Flesh Smithing. Flesh Smithing! So this is our hero. And we're gonna name him Bart. Bart the Hero. In ages long ago, great heroes bound the Dark Lord Dreadmore in the depths of, of the earth, that his ev evil would would trouble the land nevermore. Alas, the foul lich Dreadmore proved most devious and patient, for he's been loosening his magical bonds, slowly freeing himself to again spread his evil in the world of light. He must be stopped again. Once more, it is time. It is a time of adventure, of glory. It is a time for a hero. Unfortunately, this hero is you. You have been summoned by the king to prove yourself, to save the land and its people, to join the heroes of legend and victory over the dungeons of Dreadmar. So, pretty cool. Like, basic graphics and stuff, but that's alright. And see, I knew we took maces for a reason. I'm dual wielding already. Look at that. Kick that door. Kick it. Uh oh, there's a bat. Smack him. Alright. So, uh, I could make him a zombie. Boom! Pretty sweet. Uh, I need to get that zombie. Excuse me. Excuse me, zombie! Yeah, go get him. I'll get this barrel. This is what I do now. Yeah! Yeah, there's really no, uh, different animations and such for the different items like if you get new equipment uh, aside from just watch I'm gonna put these pants on nothing changes except your stats um, which is kind of a shame because I think this game could really benefit uh, I mean it would be so next level if it if it just had uh, a little more oomph in the graphics department, but I won't complain about that. It's Dungeons of Dreadmaw! Dungeons of Dreadmaw! I pulled the lever, it seems to be the only place to go, and I found the pressure plate. Goodbye, zombie. Goodbye forever. Um, I'll make another zombie. How about that? You're replaceable! Mmm! Found a leather belt and a potion. The leather belt's not even that good, so I won't bother putting it on. Because I do what I want. Ooh, smack that blobby. Yeah. And I found lost wizard keys, uh, so I put those in my pocket. Oh, yes. It's dangerous to go alone. I need to take something from my spell tome. So, um... Can get Vital Siphon to get life from my melee attacks from Blood Mage, which is good. Knit Tissue uh, as a healing spell from Flesh Smithing. Suit Up uh, as a buff, armor buff. Viking Temperament, when you defend, you get uh, a chance to get really angry. <laughs> Offensive Maneuvering lets you attack with both weapons at the same time. Dwarven Handshake is a Mace buff. Lieutenant's Overhaul is a sword buff. I'm gonna go with offensive maneuvering because I have both a mace and a sword. And I'd like to kind of buff them both. 
Le where's Belak Pock? This may prove useful. I might write it down. Or I might just uh, not think it's useful until I get to the point that uh, it is useful. And then I have to rewind the video. Won't that be sad? Oh, I'll have to take a break. Oh yeah, and I killed those guys, which is cool. Smack! Oh, Diggles! Strange bird thing. I can make lots of zombies here. Yeah! Everybody zombie! Hmm. Oh, there's an egg over here. I murdered your mother, and now I will eat you. Ma ha ha! Who's really the evil one? I ask you. Oh, that's a trap. Oh, I smashed that guy. Smash that guy. Pretty good, pretty good. There's a robe. Potion of Midas. Amber, oil of vitriol, aqua vitae, modular alchemy kit. Equals potion of Midas. Yes. Well, I ain't no alchemist. But, uh... If I find all that stuff, I guess I'll throw it in a jug and shake it up and hope it doesn't explode in my face. Um, hi guy. Whee! Come along, zombies! Taking your sweet time. Oh, I'm not sure what happened there. Ooh. Oh no. I seem to have lit myself on fire. Lots of loot. I love loot. Lockpicks. Sewer brews. Oh, I'm I'm sorry that had to happen to you, zombie. <laughs> yeah, a worthy sacrifice. Oh yeah! You must learn a new spell from your skill tome to gain the full effect of your new level. Hooray! I'm a meddling kid. Um I'm gonna go ahead and get knit tissue so I can heal myself at some points. And, uh. Onward! Onward and upward! Well, we could go downward right there. But there's still so much more floor to explore! A foppish tunic! This will make me the dandiest fop in the land. Um, I'll put the belt on, why not? And the iron breastplate seems to be a little bit better as far as defense goes. Even though it kind of drops my magic. Like, you kind of got to scroll over these little things to see what it does. Life, mana, mana regeneration. See, so this gives me uh, a debuff to that. But on the defensive side, it ain't too bad. And uh, I'm more of a warrior than um, a mage, I think. And the character screen agrees. Warrior. Wizard. Warrior. Wizard. I'm not a rogue at all, though. Which is fine. Because rogues are trash. Street trash. Another leather belt. Let's pray to Statue of Inconsequentia, the goddess of side quests. The monstrous regiment, Lord Dreadmore's 30th flank, the bloated forks, has recently come into possession of the artifact Kaisha, the striking mandrill, and must be stopped. Well, let's accept that quest, even though we never really complete the quests, because... INCONSEQUENTIAL! Oh, 45% chance of success, and I disarm that trap with aplomb! Oh, yes. Now I'm gonna go through this door. What's in here? Some brimstone! Lovely! And, uh, that's all there really is to see. So we're gonna go down. Down to level two in the Dungeons of Dreadmoa. This is an evil zombie. Don't be fooled. He's not your friend. Ugh. Oops. I missed. I need to drink something because mana is low. I think you kind of have to walk around. It's like turn-based, but not. Like, if you don't move, nothing else will move. Uh, it's really strange, but I do like it a lot. Let's see, what's on the bookshelf? 
Electrum Ingot. Electrum Ingot, Potion of Radiance, Dimensional Lathe, makes a really holy shield. Holy shield! Triple Flail, Zodiacal Wand, Pyrite Sun, Platinum Ingot, My Little Anvil, makes a flail of Pleiades. Hmm. I wish we could find some of this stuff that they're talking about. I would really find it quite helpful. Smack it. Yeah, get him, zombie. He's a helper. He's a big helper. Alright, another skill. I'm going to, um, probably dump some more into dual wield. Ambidextrous defense you can use twice the blocking power increases your ability to defend yourself. Which sounds great for, uh, not dying. Which I have trouble with! But I think that's, like, the point of this game. Oh, head armor. Okay. I feel very Japanese! Oh! Turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. Oh, look at those guys. Go get him, zombie! I'll help you. Yes, we'll help! Help each other! Hooray! Sweet victory! Now can I animate all those guys? Well, sort of. Do it. I want more. We need more mana! Drink some alcohol. No, don't drink any alcohol. It's bad. Now we got four zombies. You think that's enough? It's not. I, how can you destroy the world with only four zombies? Ugh. You guys. I'm sure you, you're doing your best, but really it's just, it's, it's not good enough. I'm gonna have to try a little harder here. Here, go get that guy. Yeah! That zombie died. But that monstrous rutabag is going down! No, it also has the Swedish setup. Evidently, root vegetables are huge and murderous in the Viking lands. This monster is trying to kill you. Well, not me, but he's trying to kill my zombie. Oh, oh, I did a double thing. A silver ring? Yes, I will. Um, all my zombies are hitting those traps. That's really terrible. Disarm it! Yeah! We have no training. No training at all. Ooh. This will not help my mana regeneration either, but it's so awesome. I'd rather be a Viking than a stinky uh, samurai. As anyone would. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Smack. Oh, he's not dead. Well. How rude. If you could just drop dead and let me eat your children, that would be just fine. Oh, Heidi Cube. Just get some more mana by killing stuff. Get some more life by killing stuff. Oh no, I didn't take that Blood Mage, ta blood mage talent yet. I think I'm going to do that next level. Mm-hmm, because it would be nice to heal as I smack things in the face. And a ruby. Pick the lock. There's a mummy. And a toxic blobby. Oh wow. It really did some some work to me. Eat some foods. Regenerate as we walk around. Whack! Whack! Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so Blood Mage Town. Vital Siphon! Spirit Stealer. Oh my god. All the talents look awesome. <sighs> and there's like Steam Workshop and stuff for this too. So you can totally uh, download somebody else's talents. Um, which gives you an idea just how dedicated a community actually exists for this game. It's, it's pretty impressive. And I do quite enjoy it myself. If I had any talent myself, I would make a talent tree. Whack! Whack! 
Well, that vital siphon's not great, but, uh, it's better than nothing. Come, my zombie horde! Through the door, another statue. We will ignore it completely. A loot fist statue? I have tied zero pieces of loot fisk. I think, yeah, I have nine pieces, but... I'm going to eat them! I'm not just gonna put them in a statue. It seems like a waste. Not not trying to offend the god of loot fisk, I'm just saying. There's a pitchfork here, polearm thing. But I don't use polearms. So I don't cur. Oh, there's a chest. How do we miss this? Potion of purity. Hooray! Smack! Ah, uh, he's poisoned me! Oh, terrible! Fate! Plop. Oh, the anvil of Krong! Huzzah! I will, uh, attempt to improve the silver ring because it's the... the highest quality. Three stars ain't much, but, uh... It's what I got. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like that. S wand crafting. That sounds awful. I don't care about a wand, let me tell you. Smack! Uh oh. Another one. Oh, well, we just crit him in the face, so. No problem! Another one. Samedi, he just loves to dance. I think it's some kind of like folklore demon. Uh, but I really don't know. Oh, a sangue blobby. Disgusting. Oh, it dodges my attacks. So good. Um, I need zombies. Come with me, zombies. Oh, terrible. Terrible. Oh. Okay, I need a little food, and I could heal, but I think the food will be enough. And zombies doing some work over here. Yeah, so we can make more zombies, right zombie? Right zombie? Yeah, I'll take it. Smack that thing. We're not helpless. Smack. There's a throwing knife. That's pretty cool. Magician's robe, which I don't really need or care about. There's a thing to kill! Whack! Oh, my health is low. So I'll eat some foods. Hooray! Oh, my zombies are trapped over there. They're too dumb to cross. I guess I'll just kill this undead if they're not in the Sanguel Blobby and make more zombies. Zombie! Zombie! Yeah! Another Anvil of Krong? How fortunate. This time I'll try to buff my mace. New powers, it adds some uh, life total, which is cool. Or health regeneration. Okay. I will take it, surely. Oh my god. There's a lot of mean robots in here. Help me, zombies! I'm surrounded by robots! Back out. Back out. Back out. Okay, eat the foods. Yes, save me, zombies. Save me from myself! Good lord. That zombie's gonna go right down. He's got four health. There he goes. Alright. Oh my god. Oh, it's all going down. It's all going down! Oh, Bart the Adventurer. 11,000 points. That's not terrible, but obviously not the greatest I've done either. So, um, this has been Brandon Dayton and Dungeons of Dreadmoor. I hope you'll join me for the next time. Until then, bye bye